Hello, today is Friday, February 25th, 2022. It's been a long day. I have accomplished a lot with my family. I believe that Putin is aware that he is the most hated individual on the entire planet. Make sure he's aware that he is the most hated individual on the entire planet. This will empower those that are working closest to him to take a look at him and say, Perhaps we don't want to be loyal to Vladimir Putin anymore. After all, he is the most hated man on the planet. He really is. I wonder if they would be so inclined to just do a little bit of a mutiny. I picture Putin trying to force his way into the nuclear weapons section. I picture him getting angry because the technician knows what he wants to do. The, the, the um, young, younger, lower ranking people that do all the work and very discerning and able to see he's lost it. So I believe what's going to happen is he'll threaten. So he'll threaten that person that's in charge of the nuke room. He's going to act out. Putin going to act out on his own people again. Hopefully there will be a military official from Russian army, political military official from Russian army that is quietly not approving of what's going on and that will intervene and intercede. I don't know if Putin can even fire a weapon. I've never seen him hold a weapon. I don't believe he's going to kill himself with a pistol like Adolf Hitler did. I believe he's having a temper tantrum trying to force his way into the nuclear weapons room and I believe it's going to be a very effective takedown where his own people are going to say no more. Because if you just look at his history and physical from the standpoint of doing a health assessment on this man, how healthy are you, Vladimir? You know... People in the United States of America, in our militaries, when we get tired, too tired to give a fuck, that's when we are retired. Because our give a fuck is out of order and we have to work on it so we don't suicide or homicide. I'm no longer suicidal. Mm -mm. I just want everyone to know, once you make the choice to I'm not going to kill myself over fat. Your brain is going to be in effect supporting you. You'll never want to suicide again. So, I believe that Putin's going to have a big old Putin and he's going to be a showdown, a takedown, showdown. I believe Putin, 66-year-old self, is going to do his best to intimidate the younger folks that are in charge of the nuclear weapons room. And it's going to take those folks looking at him and saying, there's a problem. Um, praying for God to speak to the hearts of the men that are in charge of the nuclear weapons facilities in Russia. They have the most nuclear weapons. So it's very important that... We pray for all the people that are in 
Vladimir Putin's entourage, his daily flow, everyone from the cook in the kitchen to the person that makes sure that there is toilet paper in the bathroom to the person that is in charge of who is visiting Kremlin today. Is it not obvious to the whole world? It is obvious to the whole world that Vladimir Putin has earned his title of being the most mentally ill and most hated global pseudo leader of all time. Hitler had a motive, okay? We're not gonna go into it. Vladimir Putin just did it like Nike because he could. What else is he doing just like Nike because he could? Most likely abusing his people. What do you mean his people? Military folks. Most likely he is abusing the military folks and they're just not saying anything because they haven't been able to. But with the internet, and it's a buzz, okay? The internet is a buzz with different world global organizations interested and not approving at all, okay? The whole entire world does not approve of him. That can put him in a very desperate psychological state of mind or a very... I don't care, I kill everyone's state of mind. Okay. So you can either be desperate and <sighs> hungry to kill, which he's not because he's, as we already explored and discussed, he's not physically strong enough to have the stamina to do the hands-on violence that other people might do. He's the kind that's going to huff and puff at the people around him. Bark on it, pear. That's how I know it's true. That's what he's gonna do. And keep, that's right, pear, hark on it. Keep, keep on with the internet news reporting. That's right, hark on it, pear. This is real, okay? Shine the light on him. Let the world know. Vladimir Putin. That's what you did. We do not approve. He is older. In American years, he's probably 90. He's probably got the mental cognition abilities of a 90-year-old alcoholic from Louisiana. All right? That's what you're working with. Okay? So we are praying for the people that are in his entourage for the grace of God to enter into their hearts, to inspire them to do what is right. Putin might just fall down in the hallway one day. So that could be an issue amongst the ranks of the Russians. I'm scared to do it because you're going to put me in jail. So when he shows his ass, Putin, when he shows his ass hard enough onto enough people at one time of his entourage, that's all it's going to take. That way, nobody is going to be comparing any stories and having to decide, what do we do? When someone is showing their ass and they show it in front of laddie, daddy, everybody, you don't have to compare stories about what to do. Everybody saw it. Just like everybody can see on the YouTube what's going on. I appreciate the, the footage of what's going on in Ukraine because that's what it looks like. And what you don't see are all the people blown to bits underneath those bombs. And who ordered that? Vladimir Putin. So, yeah. It looks like that these government systems, if they want to maintain their communism, they're going to have to have more than just a president. They're going to have to have a right-hand man, a vice president, to assist them so that they do not become compassion fatigued or mentally ill or physically self-induced 
damaging enough to their brains to be a global threat. That's what that future looks like, I believe. I don't want to change their government. We want to help. I want to help their government be safer. Put in some checks and balances. How about, okay, you're the main man, but I'm the right hand man. Make sure that the other person doesn't get out of control. You know, because there's things that lead up to before somebody decides to bomb another. There, there are other things in that person's psyche that they didn't share. So he's been hating on Ukraine for a very long time. Okay. If I had to guess, and I will guess, probably since he got divorced. Without a spouse... And all that responsibility for Russia. He's not a happy person. Okay. He's 66 years old. He's been drinking vodka most likely all his damn life. He can't get an erection. Okay. When you can't have an orgasm. I know what that feels like. I took um, Zoloft for a while in 2008. And I was deployed. Okay, there's not a lot to do when you're deployed besides work. And when you get done with work, maybe some wiki wiki wow wow DJ time, right? I'm being my personal DJ, wiki wiki wow wow. And um, certain medications like Zoloft, it cuts off the communication between your brain and your genitalia. I know that as a 30 some year old woman, that was enough for me to say, fuck this Zoloft. I was extremely angry. So when I imagine Putin and what kind of life he might have lived and how cold it is and what the culture is like, what kind of food do they normally eat? Um, I don't feel sorry for him. That's not my point. I'm wanting to understand and I just see a man that has no hope and is going to go balls to the walls. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that he's going to go hit the wall and fall. Because he's going to be trying to shove his way into the nuclear weapons room. I'm hoping he does not know how to use a pistol. Um, because I've never seen him hold one. Most leaders that are communist um joseph stalin when i picture him i picture him in full military regalia with his mustache and some type of weapon winston churchill i picture him atop a horse commanding directing influencing with the weapon okay bonnie and clyde had weapons putin i don't believe is taking up arms the way former president of Ukraine, I believe is President Zelensky has done. Okay. So you see what's going on. Putin is hating on the young people because he can. And his colleagues that are soon to be his former colleagues because he's going to be dead. There's no stopping him. Putin is not, you're not going to change his mind. I hope everyone has accepted that. I believe they have. And that's why they're having the discussions and putting it on YouTube, letting the world know because we want to work together. And when you can organize a global force, we can pick on one person. Do you remember ever getting picked on in school for anything? Imagine just having like 20 people in a classroom picking on me for my name instead of C. Young. It's the Cy Young Award. Me, me, me. Right? Imagine for Putin. Here is the news of President Putin. You are the most hated man. Approximately 50 billion people are hating you and, and they think this, they believe this. And show the words that describe. What do people opinionate about someone like President Putin? Read all that press to him. He needs to hear all those words that make his tender heart so mad. Because when people attack other people 
for no reason at all, at all, that's no longer a person inside that meat suit Vladimir Putin. It's now being animated by energy. The energy of his thoughts fuels that in the environment that matches it. Energy is neither created nor destroyed. It just takes different form. I'm going to Google some things. I'm really hoping that Putin's own entourage will end up having to take him down because he's going to really act out. How about if they just hide his vodka from him for three days? How about giving him faux vodka for three days? Looks like vodka, smells like vodka. But it's not. He doesn't get the alcohol and he goes into DTs and he dies that way. And then nobody has to feel bad on their side. That would be an easier way. How do you do that? You get prepackaged, you know, bottles of whatever they use. And instead of putting vodka in it, you put in not vodka. It tastes like vodka, you know, whatever. Maybe throw some um, Ativan in there. You know, let him think he's getting something, something. And then take the Ativan away. How much Ativan? Just enough so when he takes a few shots, he can feel affected. So he won't notice right away that the vodka is, um, is, is, is dry. There's no, there's no alcohol in here. You know, um, yeah, I see his own people taking him out. I see him trying to attack. I, I couldn't imagine President Putin, thinky doggy, yo yo's barking on it, um, attempting to physically attack the people that are in charge of the nuclear weapons room. He will probably, once he executes, a couple people that are in charge of the nuclear weapons room, that's when his entourage will begin to reassemble their perception of Vladimir Putin and what is the correct thing to do. When it becomes obvious to Putin's entourage and military that, you know, he's not going to be able to sign your paychecks anymore, that's when they will stop being loyal to Putin. It's a good thing that there is a military presence in that region because the American military is the best. We are because we are standardized. And when you encounter a force of how many soldiers and troops out there walking, talking, doing, moving the same way, now you have a force. They are not an organized force. They are chaos. They are the opposite of what is good. Because they are not disciplined. And that is why the Russian military fears the American soldier. The Russian military fears the American Marine. The Russian military, they learned to fear Captain Mooney in the ICU when I was their nurse. But not a lot of people got to see me because I was tucked away in a very specific part of a building, a very specialized area. Just know this, they're scared shitless of American soldiers. They are. Put on the movie Platoon. If you put on that movie Platoon and you were to broadcast that, if it was, you know, not the current situation, if it was appropriate, and showed it to some Russian guys, they would be all about it. Like, oh, wow. Oh, my. 
So they hear that. See, because they don't have that in their culture. They don't have that. <clears throat> they don't have that. They have the alcoholic rage. That's what they have in their military. They do not have a focused force. They have alcoholic rage from Putin to go along with their pervasive sense of we don't have enough. We never have enough. And so that makes them also very dangerous. Okay. Um, I wonder how many Orthodox Christians are in Russia compared to the other parts. I don't know. I can look it up later if I want to. I believe the more important thing is to review possible scenarios for the situation. Because when we can talk about it, we can make about it. If we don't talk about it, we'll just watch and be subject to what is done. But once we begin to speak up and share our ideas, that's not right. And collectively, the entire globe, not one person on the planet is supporting him. Okay? He's not going to make it. He's going to be acting out too cowardice to take his own life. He's going to be acting out to the point where he's going to get knocked out. And it's going to be one of those accidental deaths, you know. He went to scrimmage or um, jump on somebody and they decided no more. And so, stop Vladimir. And then it becomes obvious because there's not going to be any more loyalty to him. And that's when they'll take him out. They'll have to. Because he's going to, he will fight his way to get into that nuclear weapons room. He's going to threaten all those people that are high ranking in the military or whatever ranking. Uh, shit you, execution style. And then people are going to get shot execution style. And the executioners are going to be the ones looking at it all. Wanting to redeem themselves before God. So I hope and I pray for God's grace, the power of Christ to compel those that are able to remove evil, to do so knowing that they have God's full blessing. Don't ever be afraid of anything on this planet. Be aware. He's not stronger than God. He's not stronger than Allah. He is a crazy 66-year-old male that has lived a life of malnutrition and malicious thing, non-thinking. And he hasn't had a break, really. He's got PTSD worse than me, and I'm not allowed to have a weapon. So what do you think has to happen to him? military in America, huh? Because if you're that stupid and that's what you're questioning, number one, you don't need to be on the internet anymore. Um, this is grown up time and that's all. Everybody knows what needs to happen. Putin needs to die. He needs to drop dead, dead, dead. I really do picture him being a bully to the people that are in charge of nuclear weapons. And, you know, at first for them, in the beginning, it's going to be very exciting. Yeah, we're finally on top now. Yay, yay, you know. And then I believe when these people spend more time with Putin and his psychopathy, they're going to get freaked out. When he turns on one of them again, he's already turned on the Ukraine people. Those people are Russian people. They just decided to call their section Ukraine. That's not, that's not good. 
what that means is he is guaranteed to flip his loyalty and flip his shit and he'll take it out on one of his Russian soldiers. He would be the type of person to attempt to execute somebody or shoot him right now. Uh, we'll just go, shoot him like I said. And then he's going to try to use the peer pressure. You shoot him. None of you are listening. You're all going to die. So that's immaturity that, and they're going to, hopefully Laddie Daddy, I'll be there at the same time to witness that. That way they can organize their mutiny. He fell down the stairs. The end. <laughs>